So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pavblypavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Zoom to Gmail and click on create. So now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of every new registrant adding to our Zoom meeting. Then after that, we will create an automation, a workflow inside Pavli Connect, and then send the reminders using our Gmail account to that very same user via email. So we will be sending the meeting uh, reminders to via email. And guys, in this workflow, in this automation inside Pavli Connect, we will make some changes. We will use some features from Pavli Connect to send the reminders three hours before the meeting. So whenever will be the meeting start date and time, we will send the reminder emails three hours before. You can change this time into days or minutes according to your choice as well. So after uh, creating our workflow here in trigger window in choose app, we have to search for Zoom first. And then in trigger event, we have to select configure webhook. Then after selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect Zoom with Pavli Connect. So copy this webhook URL from here, go to your Zoom account, and here you can see that I have created a meeting for 7th of July at 9.30 a.m. And the name of the meeting is, for example, my meeting. This is just a dummy meeting for this video I have created. So after reaching to your Zoom account on the left side, we will scroll down and click on this advanced option and select app marketplace. After that, we can see that we have reached to the Zoom app marketplace. Here, hover on developers and click on build app. And after reaching to the build app section, scroll down and here we have an option named as webhook only. Click on create. Give this app a name. For example, I'll name this app as Pabli. Pabli it is. Click on create. Then we have to enter some details. For example, company name. So I'll enter company name as Pabli. Name, developer's name. For example, my name is Akash. Email address. Okay, so we have entered the details. Just click on continue. And after that, we can see we have an verification token over here. And also an option named as event subscription. So turn this button off on in front of event subscription and click on add event subscription. After that, it is asking us subscription name. So I'll name my subscription as PC, for example, Babli Connect that is. And here we have to paste the endpoint URL. So basically we have to paste the very same webhook URL from which we have copied from Pavli Connect. So copy this webhook URL from here and paste it over here. And at last it is asking us for the event. So click on add event. And here in add event, we as we had the idea of, first we have to get the details or the data of new registrant adding in our Zoom account or Zoom meeting. So we will select event type as meeting and scroll down and here we have an event named as meeting registration has been created. Select this event and click on done. Click on save and just click on continue. Now it is showing us the app is active on the account. So basically guys, we have successfully connected Pavli Connect with our Zoom account using a webhook URL. Now every time a new registrant will be added in our Zoom meeting, automatically the details or the data of that very same registrant will be captured inside Pavli Connect. And we will do the same. So we have a meeting named as my meeting in our Zoom account. This was the meeting. We will add a new registrant in this very same meeting. And we will capture the response or the data of that new uh, registrant inside Pavli Connect. So we'll come to this meeting page. As I told you, this meeting is on 7th of July, 11.30 a.m. India time. And after that, we'll scroll down. And this is the registration link of this meeting. Just click on it. 
Before that, we will also scroll down and here in registration options, you can basically add it, edit your registration form. And you can see that right now, only one registration is added to this very same user. So this is the registration or this is the registrant user. So now at this page, we will enter the details of a new user and we will see that as we click on this register button after entering your details or adding a registrant in our Zoom meeting, automatically the response of that very same registration will be captured inside Pavly Connect. So let me enter the details of a user. So the name of the user is Michael Karas. This is the email address. Let's confirm the email address. And this is the phone number. So we have entered the details of a dummy user over here. Click on register. And the registrant is successfully added in our Zoom meeting. Now we will see that because we have connected Zoom with Pavly Connect using a webhook URL, the response or the data of this very same new registration will be also captured inside Pavly Connect. So we'll go back to Pavly Connect. And here we can see that in our trigger window, we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will find the details or the data of that very same user to whom we have just now registered in our Zoom meeting. Same username, Michael Kara, same email address, as well as the same mobile number. And also in this response, we have the name of the meeting that what is the name of the meeting and also the start date and time of this meeting. This date and time is present in UTC format. That is why we have the very same date 7th of July, but the time here is showing as 6 a.m. But the meeting which we have created was at 11.30 a.m. Because the meeting which I have created was according to Indian time and the response which we received in, was in UTC time zone. So while creating the automation, you have to keep this in mind. So the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected our Zoom account with Pavly Connect and received the data of new Zoom meeting registrant inside Pavly Connect. Now guys, we want to send the email reminder emails to these registrant three hours before the meeting. So we have the meeting start date and time. So we have to basically subtract three hours from this meeting start date and time. And then we will delay this automation or this workflow till that time three hours below before the meeting. So to subtract three hours from this date and time, we will use a feature of public connect that is date time formatter. For that, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we will search for date time formatter. After that, here in action event, we can see a lots and lots of action event over here, out of which we will select add or subtract time and click on connect. Then it is asking us enter date date that of what date we want to add or subtract time. So we have received the date of the meeting, date and time of the meeting in trigger response over here. So basically we have to map this very same response over here in this enter date field. And the process of mapping is very simple guys. Simply you just have to click here and from the drop down below, you can see all the responses which we have received from Zoom of a new adding of a new registrant can be captured inside this. So here are the responses and out of all these responses, we will select the response of payload object start time. Just select it and map it. After this guys, it is asking us for the expression. So we have to, we want to subtract three hours from this date and time. So we will enter minus three hours. Minus th three hours. You can refer to the help desk given below. Like if you want to subtract two days, you can enter minus two days. If you want to subtract one month, you want to send the reminders one month before the meeting, for example. So you can enter one month and like that. So minus sign means subtraction. And basically we have entered the expression as three hours. Then it is asking us to format. So here in two format, it is asking us in what format we want this date and time. So there is a particularly specific format in which we want date and time to be. And this is the format. This is the format which the delay module accept in public connect. We will see this later in this video. So basically we have to select this very same format date, month, year, hour, minutes and seconds. So select this two format and in from, from format, we have to select the format in which the date and time are currently presentable. Sorry, currently present. So we have to select the current format as uh, this from format is this is the current format of date and time. Sorry, uh, this is the correct format. After selecting the date and time format, just click on save and send test request. And now we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we have received a date and time three hours before starting of the meeting. 
so we have re re uh, subtracted three hours from this meeting date and time now we want to delay this automation till this date and time so the as and when a new registrant is created in our zoom account immediately details of the data of that new registration will be captured inside Pavli Connect. We will process the start date for the meeting in for which they have registered and then we will subtract three hours from that meeting and delay this automation, this workflow or sending of email till that time, three hours before the meeting. So we have received this date and time three hours before the meeting. After that, we have to add the delay module to delay this workflow. For that, we will scroll down and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for delay. Delay by Pavli. After selecting delay module, it is asking us how much delay you want to put in workflow. So in the drop down below, we have two options delay for and delay until. So we will select delay until and then we have to enter the date and time in this specific format present in help text that till what time until what time we want to delay this workflow. So we have received the date and time three hours before the meeting over here and we want to delay this automation till this time. So just we have to map this very same date and time over here. And as you all know, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click here and from the drop down below from the responses of date time formatter after subtracting three hours, map the response of date and time. And after that, just click on save and send test request. And the automation is delayed till this date and time. The help text also says that we have to enter the date and time in this specific format. That is why guys, we have selected a specific format in the previous step in two date and time format while subtracting the time from the meeting date and time. So we have also added the delay module. Now guys, we will scroll down and click on this add action step button. And now finally, we will select or add the step of Gmail to send email to this very same registrant. For that here in choose app, search for Gmail. Gmail it is. And after that in action event, select send email. Click on connect, select add new connection. And here we have to connect our Gmail account from which we will be sending emails. So click on connect with Gmail. Select your Google account from which you will be sending messages. Scroll down and click on continue. And now we can see that our Gmail account is now successfully connected with Pabli Connect. After that, we can see that after connecting our Gmail account, it is asking us recipient email address. So here we have to enter the email address of the registrant, meeting registrant to whom we want to send the reminder emails for meeting. So just click here and we have received the email address from Zoom in our trigger window in response after the meeting registration. So from Zoom responses, we will select the email address of the registrant. Then we can ignore the field for CC and BCC. And then it is asking us sender's name that from by what name we want to send the email. For example, I'll enter the sender's name as Pavli. After that, it is asking us email subject. So I'll enter a subject line for this email as reminder notification for meeting. Reminder notification for meeting. And guys, also we can see that it is giving us an option to reply to. So we can ignore this field as well. In email content type, we have two options, plain and HTML. So you can choose according to your choice. I'll select plain. And at last here, it is asking us for the email content. That what is the actual body of the email which we want to send as a reminder. So I want my email to start as hello. And after hello in this email body, I want to add the name of the person or name of the registrant to whom I'm sending the mail. So we have received a name from Zoom responses. So we will select Zoom responses and map the name of the person. After that, uh, I want to create an email as. And then after on, I want to add the date of the meeting. So we have received the date of the meeting as well, actual date and time. This is the date and time of the meeting regarding and after regarding here I want to add the title of the meeting that for what thing what discussion we are keeping this meeting for regarding this. So guys this is the complete content or the complete body of the email which I want to send. So this is just a dummy body you can basically compose an email according to your choice over here. So this message says hello and after hello we will enter the name of the person the meeting registrant to whom we are sending the email. 
this is just a gentle reminder for meeting that you have on and we have the date and time of the meeting regarding my meeting this is the subject of the meeting we expect you to be on time thank you regards so this is just a plain simple email which i am sending after that it is all asking us for file name and attachment that uh, is there any attachment we are sending with this email so right now in this video in this email i am not sending any file attachment so we can ignore this and simply click on save and send test request and after clicking on save and send test request we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that a mail with very this very same body and this subject line which we have entered is sent to this very same person to whom we have just now added as a registrant in our zoom meeting so guys let's just test this we have to go to the inbox email inbox of this very same account so i have this account open we'll go to a new tab switch the accounts and go to gmail and yes guys you can see that we have received an email over here which says hello michael this is just a gentle reminder for meeting that you have on 22nd of july 7th 7th of july 2022 sorry and at 6 pm this is a basically utc uh, time zone regarding my meeting so this is the name of the meeting we expect you to be on time thank you regards so this email will be sent to all the registrant of our zoom meeting 3 hours before the meeting so we have selected the time for 3 hours so it will be sent 3 hours before the meeting as a reminder notification here guys i have entered the date and time in this format in utc time zone but by using date time formatter in public and workflow before this you can basically change the format of this date and time and also the time zone now to change the date and time for, uh, format and time zone just click on this add action step button before our gmail step and here in choose app once again search for date time formatter select date time formatter and in action event select format date with time zone click on connect now here we have to map the date which we have received from zoom to which uh, to which we want to format select the date then it is asking us from format so this date and time is present in this very same format right now and then in two format we can select any format of our choice for example i'll select this format day month year hours and minutes then it is asking us time zone so from time zone the date was currently uh, date is currently present or received as a response in public connect in utc time zone so if in from time zone we will select utc and in two time zone you can select any time zone of your choice in which you want to send the date in email and click on save and send test request and you will receive that this is the date and actual time of the meeting by the same date and time on which this meeting is scheduled 7th of july 2022 11:30 am so guys and you can map this very same date which we have added in our in the body of your email in our gmail action step so guys this is the way how you can send meeting reminders on email to all your zoom meeting registrant sometimes few hours few minutes or few days before the actual zoom meeting So we have successfully created this automation guys now after creating this automation whenever a new registrant is added in our zoom meeting the details or the data of that very same registrant is captured inside public connect and then after that we have created this automation this workflow to send that person an email reminder 3 hours before the meeting so basically you can change the time according to your choice like for 3 hours you can say 6 hours 15 minutes before the meeting or anything like that just change the expression in the second step over here so not just these application guys you can connect basically plenty of other applications using pavli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this very same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free If you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check pavli can expressing at this link so if this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day